Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JC back here with another video and in this video I will be showing you guys another NBA 2K19 VC glitch tutorial for you all today Making you guys some quick VC before 2K20 comes out But yeah, before we start the video if you guys do want a free copy of NBA 2K20 Make sure to hit that like button down below subscribe to my channel and then as well turn on post noties and follow me on Twitter if you do complete those four steps and comment down below that you have completed those I will check you out make sure you are following me on all those platforms and did all those steps you could get a reward of a free copy of NBA 2k20 so make sure you guys do hit up that challenge if we do hit 9k subs so once we do hit 9k subscribers I will be announcing a winner for that so good luck with that and let's get straight into the video so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a whole new my career player I'll just delete these for you guys just to make one with you just go through it with you guys it's a very quick process for this video of making a quick amount of VC every day you can make at the minimum 150 K VC if you do everything right so it's very quick after the first day of doing it because this is where you grind it out after you grind all the 10 players out easy you just log in get that 15k and roll out so in this video you're just gonna be show I'm showing you guys how to make your player what build you want to make weight arm span height all that good stuff and once you complete 10 of those you'll be set on making 150k but if you do have USBs multiple USBs you could easily be making more than 10 players and just copying the players down and plugging it in whenever you want to make that quick 150 kvc every 24 hours so it's very simple right here all you're going to do is just click continue and now it's going to ask you for the position you are going to want to make that position is going to be a small forward for this one i don't know why it just works out best so make sure you do end up choosing the small forward for this and you're going to do passing and ball handling pure playmaker for both primary and secondary skills so make sure you do all the steps i am doing in this process to make sure you do get the full amount of playing time and everything so you don't have to wait longer than you really need to honestly so yeah now it's going to take you what is it your height weight arm span all that good stuff you're just going to keep it maybe a little bit move it a little higher than it is i think it starts you at six eight yeah correct you're going to go up to six ten your weight you can just bump that up maybe like five to ten pounds and then your arm span just move it up a little bit as well and then after that we'll get to y'all shortly but for now we're just gonna roll through this all right so right here it's gonna ask you if you would like to go into the prelude yes you do want to play the prelude yes I'm just kidding with you guys prelude is the worst decision to make in your life in all the 2k games never choose that step that's just terrible don't do it don't even do the prelude when it comes out for 2k20 waste of time all right now it's going to take you into the free agency where you are going to want to choose the cleveland cavaliers so they should be up here like yeah right here 12 minutes they average you so you're just going to put this down all the way to zero minutes but you're going to counter offer first you're going to put it at around 710 Put this as zero minutes one time bonus and one year and if they do reject that just go down by five vc until they do accept it but most likely they will be accepting it the first time you offer it to them so yeah pretty simple you guys are already flying through this you're almost done basically you just got to play a few more games then you just have to log in every 24 hours and you can claim your 15k vc for each player so basically it takes around i would say an hour if you have 10 players to claim all your VC not even like 30 minutes basically if you're doing it fast it'll take you 30 minutes to claim your 150 K VC so very simple process right here once you do grind out all the 10 players but once you get into your my court you're going to want to choose pro which it's on already but you're gonna make it 11 minutes long so after that you're just gonna head into your first game against the Toronto Raptors also the NBA champions Clay Thompson? Nope. Splash Brothers? Nope. We won? Nope. We here? Nope. Warriors are trash now, dog. KD with the Nets. 
choosing number seven. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen at all. Him and Kyrie joining up. Wow, the players are all distributed now. There's not like one super team other than the Lakers, really. But, I mean, I'm kind of rooting for the Lakers a little bit, not going to lie. Not hopping on any bandwagon, but yeah. So once you do load up into the game, you're just going to hope that you do get like a minute of playing time just to sub in real quick so you can sim to end with the VC. But if that does not happen, it's totally okay. It happens to me all the time too. But you're just going to keep on playing until it gives you that playing time so you can sim to end with the VC. That's the only way this glitch will work. So oh, I'm going to shot that too. I don't know why. Oh my God, dude. If you shoot that and miss that shot right there in warm-ups, I swear, if you miss it, you do not play. So whack. I don't know why I think that, but I swear every time I did do that and miss it, I didn't play. I'm not capping on that one either. All right, so it's the start of the game. They're going to give us our, like, yeah, takeover thing, whatever this is. As well, if you guys do want to have some fun in the comment section down below, if you're still watching, which I really think you would be, um... Just comment whatever you want to happen in 2K20, like for apps. I want them to bring back the parks like they had in 2K6, 2K15, 16, 17, Sunset, Rivet. All those parks, man. Bring back the OG stuff. All the players miss it, man. Game is just getting worse and worse, I feel like, honestly. Alright, so now it's halftime. They're going to bring us in. Hopefully, I will get a few playing time in the third or fourth quarter most likely the fourth quarter though works out all the time yep like i said here and if everything does work out well you're just going to pause the game go up and ask the sim out to the end with vc you will receive your vc and as well we'll be on to the next step shortly so in the locker room or when you're walking down the hallway it will probably be asking you about the game you'll get interviewed couldn't think of the word for a minute but yeah, you're just going to want to shout out the fans always. Never shout out your teammates. Nope. Call out the fans. Alright, you can skip that ahead. You're going to go here, and the next thing you're going to want to do is go all the way to April 1st. Honestly, I'm going to have a quick rant real quick while we sim here. You do not need to go to April 1st. Honestly, you could go to like March 1st, and it'll still work out. Like... I don't know what YouTuber did this, but he just started the trend out. I think it was like in 2K18. Once you get past like February, something around there, you'll see the endorsement on your screen light up yellow. That's just when you honestly could just stop and you can do this glitch, but I don't know why, just to stay safe. I guess everyone goes to April 1st, but yeah, literally. Uh, once you go by February something around there, you'll see what I'm talking about You'll see this like yellow bar flash up in the endorsements like real quick. I Always wondered about that, but like why someone choose chose April 1st. It's kind of whack But yeah, if you guys are still watching, thank you so much I will be posting daily and streaming almost every day for once 2k 20 comes out so make sure you guys do Hit that subscribe button to chill in as well. Hit the noties button so you get notified when I do post videos or even streams because starting in 2K20, I will be posting a gift card, PS4 and Xbox every single video so you guys can go snag that quick. So the first people that do get into the video and see it, I'll be the first ones to get rewarded. So yeah, make sure you guys do have the noties on. Super hype for 2K20. Hopefully it's like a good game actually. But yeah, as well, I already pre-ordered the Legend Edition. Gotta get that D-Wave Vice City vibes, you already know. But yeah, I don't know. Hopefully the game is pretty good, though. I'm really praying it wasn't anything close to 2K18 nor 2K19. I mean, 2K19 wasn't the worst, but after 2K18, things just fell apart. Like, it's just bad. 2K17, that game, good memories. 2k16 as well i didn't really grind 2k15 though so you can really only talk about 2k15 16 what am i saying 16 17 all right so my obs just turned off almost that's tough all right so look at this look at this see this february look at it. the endorsement light already coming on so i'm telling you guys you don't need to really go to april first there's no point of doing it i don't know why i'm doing it but screw it 
I guess that's just what the community does now, follows one person's lead, so it is what it is. As well, I am working on a build for 2K20. I am working on all these dribble moves as well for a pure playmaker. Why did I say that so weird? Pure playmaker or sharp shooting playmaker. I honestly do not know what to do. Um, I'm really thinking about it though because I just want to be a dribble guy, dude. Just break so many angles, man. Be a bone collector. All right enough of that talking all right so once you do hit april 1st the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your endorsements you're going to click this and it's going to take you to the vc sports management shop whatever you want to call that green little building but yeah you're going to choose Foot Locker over this one do not choose gatorade this will just screw up the whole entire glitch for you so yes make sure you are choosing Foot Locker for every single glitch like this very simple just follow my lead all right, you're gonna walk in and be like, what's up? You're gonna claim that and you're just gonna walk out. We'll continue the glitch from there. I'm gonna skip this ahead if it doesn't. Oh my God. All right, so as you guys see, I literally choked so hard right there and I tried skipping it, but clicked on Gatorade. Hate this game, literally. It sucks so bad, but I still play it, man. Not gonna lie, it's still good. Holy, all right, so that's why I have PS4, not Xbox, because you can actually close out of the application and restart it. So I'm just gonna log back into 2K, my account, and it will ask me the same exact question again, and this time I'm actually gonna make sure I hit Foot Locker and not go Gatorade. I really just choked right there, so yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, back to the scene of the crime. I am walking in this time. I'm just going to take my time, not click any buttons until she gives me some. Actually, take that back. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time on this. All right, so now it's asking me. I'm going to choose Foot Locker on this one. Do not just do what I just did. That, that was terrible. It took me like three good minutes for that. So just don't waste your time on that. I don't know what I was doing. But right after you claim your Foot Locker basically endorsement, you're just gonna head on into the next game, which is against the Phoenix Suns. And in this game, it does not matter what you do. You could literally just sit on the bench the whole entire game. Like who cares? Do nothing. If you do get in the game, just sim down with the VC. But yeah, it does not matter if you do get into this game. You just wanna participate, I guess, in the Phoenix Sun event and You'll get your next BC check, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the game. Alright, so once it is the end of the game, you're just gonna claim whatever VC you got. I think I'm getting like one VC right here, so that's super awesome. But yeah, right after this step, you're just gonna head back into the locker room, and you're gonna check out your endorsements right here, which is your level one contract. So you're just gonna click into this until it says counter offer which then you are going to want to counter offer it because no one wants this like cheap endorsement thing at first whatever it is 1300 you're going to put this up to 2500 and everything else at zero exactly so just zero and zero they're going to uh decline the offer for a couple times at first but you're just going to keep on counter offering it until they do accept it and once they did accept it you're just going to head on into the neighborhood Okay, so once you did reach the neighborhood, you're just going to go in your endorsements again and you get level two. Very easy. You're going to make this one up to 5,000. So put that thing all the way up to 5,000. Everything else once again at zero. If you guys are getting the hint already. All right, so going to reach this. Took a while. He's going to counter offer, I think, like four times this time. That's one, two three all right it was three all right so three times and after that you are going to want to head into your game against sacramento and about this game it's kind of special because you are going to want to make it in the game get that playing time sim to m with vc if you do not make it in just go against your next game which i'm pretty sure is against the warriors so just play on until you actually do get in a game so you can sim down with VC so you can get your Foot Locker contract from that. Very simple. But yes, we're gonna... Yeah, I'll just get back to you guys once I make it in the game 
it could be next game so i'm just gonna skip it from here so i'm not wasting any of your guys's time and yeah i'll see you all in a little bit okay it's been a minute but we are back in the game and guess i'm the four because i'm taking the ball out i'm just gonna click this we are getting whooped by around 45 points wow that's it's a bit nasty right there um lost by 47 points if i can do my math right uh, GG's but yeah, that's all you had to do just get some playing time Hopefully you guys did that already and you are waiting for the next step and that next step is going to be very simple Once we get to it shortly, so We are waiting for this just spam your X button whatever it is and just till you get back into your locker room And the next thing from here is you're gonna look in your endorsement. And you're gonna see it does say 5,000 from right here, you're gonna close your application and you're going to go into settings. So once you get into the settings, you're gonna click application save data management. And from here, you're just gonna click, what is it? Save data in system storage. You're gonna click upload, up, upload to online storage. And you're gonna choose just the one that you literally made today. So that's gonna be all this stuff and I, don't know why there's so much but you're gonna upload it to your online storage you're gonna click apply to all yes and it's gonna literally be like 10 seconds if not 15 it's, like I said pretty quick and you're just gonna log right back into your 2k account and I'll show you what to do so you're going right back into 2k and you're gonna go right back into your player okay so they did decide to just put us in the park which is okay i guess but the next step from here is you're going to actually click on this endorsement you're going to load it up you're going to click out of it out of the endorsement picture and once it says you did claim your bc you'll see that little vc thing in the bottom left hand corner you will just close your application and i'll show you the next step after that it's actually really simple this should be like maybe a few more seconds as right there you're going to click okay you're going to close your application you can take your time it doesn't have to be super fast but you're gonna head on back into the application save data management and this time you're not gonna choose save data in system storage you're gonna choose save data in online storage and I forgot to say for you USB people the last step I did if you do you can't like if you do not have PS Plus all you're gonna click is save data on USB storage you're gonna plug in your USB you're gonna save those files which I just saved that will be yours and then from there you're going to click into what is it auto upload i'm pretty sure or it's going to be saved no it's going to be saved data on usb storage and you're going to download it back to your system storage so from here since i'm ps plus i'm downloading it back to my system storage instead of downloading it to my online storage a little bit difficult you guys might not understand right away but if you guys just follow what I'm doing you will be fine I'm just downloading it back to the cloud and this is what you do every 24 hours actually make sure it is 24 hours because if it is not literally 23 hours 59 minutes it will not work so just make sure you guys do it at like a good time like maybe in the morning just to grind it out and you can keep on going from there every morning so do whatever is right for you i don't know i am not you so do it whenever you want but okay we load up into the neighborhood again we're going to claim our bc close out of it we're waiting for it to give us permission to click okay and then we're just going to close app and do the same thing over again um i won't talk that much this time so you guys can concentrate on what i'm doing because i know when i'm watching tutorials I hate when people keep on talking over what you're supposed to do. So, you know what? I'm doing what I like. I'm just not going to talk that much. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did last time. Okay, so once it is loading... That's all you had to do, really simple. You're just gonna load back into 2K and this is your last time. You can only claim the check three times. All righty, so we, all right, there we go. Thought 2K was just bringing us their classic servers again, but no, they wanted to be good 
to us for once in their life. All right. We just wait from here. Three, two, one, give me that okay, there we go. And the last step is just to haul down to the VC Sports Management Shop and claim that 15K. Do it every 24 hours if you do want to be a millionaire in NBA 2K19 until the game goes bye-bye. Like literally 2K20 is coming out in, I think, 45 days. I don't, I don't know 100% how long it's going to be, but look at it, the screen right here. It's going to be 15K. Just do this every 24 hours with 10 players. You'll get 150K. Even if you do use your USBs, you'll be making more than that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy and you did make a lot of EC from this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure if you do want a free copy of NBA 2K20, all you have to do, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. And lastly, follow me on Twitter. And yes, comment down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.